What happens when I take a picanha, super tender piece of meat, and stuff it into a beef wellington? Well, let's check it out. We're gonna start out by processing our picanha, so we're actually going to slice that in two, and we're also going to score the top so the fat doesn't shrink up all weird once it cooks up in the oven. And we're gonna take off that little tail. That's going to be a separate piece. Now we're going to salt it up on both sides. Be pretty generous with the salt, but don't go too heavy handed. Now set them on your pan and set them so everything fits correctly and stick your thermometer in there because we do want an exact temperature on this bad boy. Now we got that in there. Let's go ahead and get that into our oven and we're going to let that cook until it comes to temperature. Next up, we're going to take our mushrooms and we're going to process those into, well, what will soon be duck cells. You could use knives and cutting it up with knives might be better. Anyhow, I'm taking the processed mushrooms. We are frying them up until they are the right consistency and they should look a little grayish and that's what we want. Set that aside, get that all nice into a bowl. It's gonna be nice and steaming. Do not eat that yet, as tempting as it may be. Then take your prosciutto, put it on some cling film, and lay it out, all nice like that. Next, get that Dijon mustard and spread it on your steak, which, oh yeah, it's done, right? And we're gonna get that all on there. And then we're going to take our duck cells and spread that onto our prosciutto. Get that pretty evenly coated. And that should be good. So next, we're going to go ahead and take our roast, wrap it up using the cling film to help us get us where we need to be. And we're gonna roll that up kind of like sushi or a burrito. And just be careful, you are going to wrap this up as good as you can and then give it a nice spin to tighten up everything and set that aside for now. Next, you're going to take your puff pastry. You're gonna lay that down into two layers and kind of stitch it up in the middle and carefully roll out your roast. Then get an egg wash, get that onto the side so this thing seals up nice and start to fold it over as best as you can. I probably could have used a third sheet of puff pastry, but so it goes in the world of food experimentation now. Seal it up as best as you can. You might need to cut some off the ends and stick it on the bottom like I did. It's going to look really haphazard, but that's okay because that's going to be the bottom. Now get your egg wash, brush it on top because we want this to be nice and glossy. Ponder your life. Try out some of that extra steak that didn't fit in there. Oh yeah, that's quite good. And now stick this thing back into the oven until it's nice and golden brown and delicious and you'll end up with this and once again just keep pondering things because it needs to cool down so take a while to ponder and meditate ah yes after the time has passed go ahead take your wellington and split that thing open to make sure it is nicey nice on the inside Ooh, yes look at the juices the juices are flowing the juice will flow very nice now Go ahead and slice yourself off a piece because this has been a long time coming and you totally deserve it. Food experimentation is tiring, but let's see how this turned out. I mean, it looks good, so I guess we better taste it. Nice piece, nice piece of crust. The picanha is as tender and flavorful as can be. It's just enhanced by those duck cells, that Dijon mustard, the prosciutto, and then of course you finish it off with this whew, amazing puff pastry crust. I mean, I wish I could have got the lattice on there and wish it could have physically looked a little better, but the taste is on point. And if you make some modifications, this thing would be absolutely perfect. In fact, I'll go on to say that this is perfect the way it is. Delicious food doesn't always have to be absolutely beautiful, but 
This dish right here tastes beautiful. Ooh, I need another bite. Might take a lot of time, might take a lot of effort, a lot of good planning, but trust me, to make a delicious beef wellington is well worth it and you have got to try it. Until next time, YFP out.